Hi, and welcome to the Easy Way channel. In this video, I will be focusing on what to do when some of the games you launched over Steam is not working, it won't launch, crashing upon launch, and so on. So this guide and methods you will see can be applied for all games you have in your Steam library and doesn't have specific error code message when you launch it, although you can apply most of this methods even for that specific errors. Before we start, I will ask you to subscribe to my channel if some of this methods worked for you, because I would really appreciate support from all of you to hit that 1000 subscribers milestone. And now, let's jump into video. Okay. Reason your game is not launching could be corrupted game files, which is common thing. To fix that, open Steam and go to your library. Find the game you are having troubles to launch. For this tutorial, I will use Apex Legends as example. Right click on the game and select properties. On the left side menu, click on local files. Here you will see option to verify integrity of game files. Click on it and wait for game to be scanned. If there are any missing or corrupted files, they are going to be downloaded and replaced with new, correct ones. After the scan finish, launch the game and see will the game launch properly. Next reason your game is not launching is outdated graphic card driver. To update graphic card driver, Right-click on Start, and up here, click on Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters. Right-click on your display adapter, and select Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Drivers. Usually, you will get this message, that the best drivers for your device are already installed. If so, go on the Your Graphic Driver Manufacturer website and see is there any new driver updates for your graphic card. I have NVIDIA graphic card, so I use NVIDIA software called GeForce Experience, so I will open it, and check for updates. If you have AMD or Intel graphic, you can also check in their applications for updates. After installing graphic card driver, restart your computer and launch your game. Next is to check do you have any pending Windows updates. Left click on Start, and select Settings. Click on Update and Security. Click here on Check for Updates, and if there are any, install them, restart your computer and try the game. Next you can do is to set Compatibility Mode for that game, and other options in Compatibility tab. In your library, Right-click on the game, and select Properties. Select Local Files here, and then, click here on Browse. This will open Game Installation Folder. You need to find Game EXE. It is usually file with the game icon, with no special characters. If you are unsure, right-click on it, and select Properties. Here you see, Type of File, it says application.exe. So, you will right click on game exe file and select properties as I did. Now select compatibility tab up here. If you have any of these boxes checked, uncheck them. Click on apply and OK and launch the game. If you don't have anything checked, then first, you will check this box to run the program as administrator. And you can also check this to disable full screen optimizations but just to be sure for start check only this one to run the game as admin because that one is usually most successful fix when game fail to launch click on apply then ok and run the game if that didn't help come back here uncheck boxes down here and check this one Run this program in compatibility mode 4, and down here, select Windows 7 or Windows 8. Try both. Don't forget to save this settings with apply, and then OK. 
Next what you can do, is to clear Steam download cache. Open up Steam. In top left corner, click on Steam, and select Settings. On the left side menu, click on Downloads. Here you will see this option, to clear download cache. So click on it. Doing this, will log you out from Steam. So you will have to log in again. Click on OK. And after logging back, run the game, and see did this fix worked. If none of this methods worked, then you should reinstall the game. In case that there are some corrupted files, and which could not be replaced with the verify the game files option. To uninstall the game completely, you need to go into game folder like we did in previous method. Game properties, local files, and browse. Now click here on common, to go back one folder, and minimize this window. Return to the Steam. Right click on the game you want to reinstall. Hover with your mouse over manage, and select uninstall. When uninstallation process finish, open up this folder that you minimized before. And if you still see this, in my case Apex Legends folder. In your case folder of the game you have uninstalled, delete it, because sometimes, inside could be some leftover files, that have not been removed during uninstallation. After that, your game is completely removed from your PC, so you can download it and install it again. If you have that option, you should also try to install the game on another hard drive, SSD if possible. The reason that your game won't launch, could be because your hard drive is started to show signs of aging, like bad or corrupted sectors, and the games are first to feel that. If your game shows some specific error message when you launch it, then you should Google that message, because there could be totally different method for fixing that kind of specific errors. And with this, we came to end of this video. I really hope that I managed to help you to fix your issue you had with the game. If I did, please hit that like button, and subscribe to my channel with the bell on, so you can get notification when I upload my next, easy way tutorial. Bye.